Oye, yo no pienso que están listos para esto. Strong dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a bilingual drive by the sin that you went to is hatred in God's eyes. This is an attack on the heathen, the angels and spiritual watch you to see them. This is a lateral movement, the progress we're making is for what we're doing. This Bible, this Bible was written. Give me a, uh, Psalms 147, 19 and 20. I'm gonna show you who the Bible was written to. Because the white man reintroduced the Bible to us. The other nations manipulated. The Bible has never changed. It's always been for one people. Watch what it says. It says Psalm chapter 147 and verse 19. Huh? He showed his word unto Jacob. Now Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Jacob's name was changed to Israel when he wrestled with the angel. Alright? So that's a person, but it's also a nationality of people. All right, he had 12 sons, read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So they got the confirmation, Israel. Jacob's name is Israel. So he says, if they break the commandments, their, the judgment that's written in the Bible is going to happen to them. Slavery, losing your identity, all that stuff is written in Deuteronomy 28. So that's why in the flyer, we break down Deuteronomy 28, see? So Deuteronomy 28 shows you that we were going to lose our identity. We were going to call ourselves weird names. Mexican is a weird name. Dominican is a weird name. So now keep reading what the next verse. Verse 20. 20. It says, he hath not dealt so with any nation. So he didn't give the commandments. Remember when Moses saved them, he didn't give the commandments in the first covenant to all nations. He gave it to the Israelites. So let's just say, you got a job? You got, okay, when you get a job, right? Let's say, like I own a business. You work at McDonald's. Let's say you work at McDonald's. I can't fire you from my landscaping company because you don't work for me, right? So we can't get fired if we don't work for God, right? So God gave the covenant to the Israelites. They got fired. Hey, hey y'all get away from me. Y'all no more longer my people, right? I'm going to put y'all in curses. That's what happened to us. So when you read the Bible, he says, read that 20 again. He have not dealt so with any nation. Go ahead. And as for his judgments. Punishments. They have not known them. So when you read Deuteronomy 28, the slavery on slave ships, they don't, other nations don't understand that. White people did not go on slavery on slave ships all over the planet. Right. The, the Chinese man didn't go all over the planet on slave ships. It was the Latinos, the blacks, and the Native Americans. So that's how, that's how one, you can prove it. But again, remember we showed you earlier, we got history books to prove it. They wrote their history. But guess what they say about a black man, a Hispanic, and Native American? We don't like to read. They say they say you want you want to solve a black man put his uh his um uh, work what's his uh, keys in his work boots. They they'll try to say things about it. But let's get Deuteronomy 28 real quick. I just want to show you. I want to show you how I know that you guys can be Israelites. Survive. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. It will happen in the future. Moses was talking to the Israelites. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Moses was the voice of God. He said, I, he told he told Moses, I'm going to let Aaron be your mouthpiece to the people. You go out and save my people, right? Go ahead. To observe to do all his commandments. And he gave them the commandments through Moses, read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. Go ahead. That all these curses. Now, curse is not good, right? He said, curse is going to happen upon y'all, read. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right, now jump to 32. Let's say you get a job, right? Because the Bible, no, we'll jump 46 first and then 32. Okay. Watch 46. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. Mm -hmm. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. The curses are going to be upon you for a sign. You see, what does a sign do? You got signs, you got signs everywhere, right? What do signs do? Y'all do. I like it. They identify things, right? So the Bible says that curses are going to be signs for us that can read. We can read the Bible now. In slavery, they didn't let us read. You know what I'm saying? But now that we can read, let's read what it says. Read. And for a wonder. And it's supposed to make you wonder. Like, hmm. And upon thy seed forever. So the curse that you read in the Bible, they happen to you, but they're also going to happen to her. Everything you read in the Bible is going to happen to you and her. Right, watch this. Now, give me uh, 32. Now, let's see if 32 is going to happen to you, and it already happened to her, but watch this. Watch this. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now, in slavery, physically, they took us and they gave our children away. But now, let's say in 2023, how do they take your children away? School. I like that. Media. All right. What about jobs? Isn't a job a plantation? That's what they call it. I'm at the, I'm at the work field. Like, field is like where they had us in the campo and the field picking cotton and stuff. Now it's just a factory, a building, a McDonald's, right? So, watch what it says about you, Reese. 
and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them. Because you want to teach them. You want to teach them the education. You want to teach her that Santa Claus is not real. You're supposed to teach her that she's not supposed to lie. So why would you teach her Santa Claus is real if Santa Claus ain't real? So you're teaching her to lie. So if, you, if, you're biblically, if you're biblically sound, you wouldn't lie to her, right? Watch this. All the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. There shall be no might in your hand. So there's no power for you to take your daughter. Because guess what? They're going to tell you you're not a good mother if you don't give her, if you don't take her to school. You know that. They can take your kids with you. So, so you as mothers, you're going to be like, oh, I got to take my kids to, uh, to school. Because if not, they're going to take them from you. So watch what 48 says. Verse 48. This is how you know you got to give them to the white man or the, the other nations for education, for money, for anything. Watch this. It says, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So it doesn't say your buddies. Your buddies didn't hang you on trees. Your buddies didn't rape your women and make them bed witches. That's what y'all was bringing up earlier, right? Why? Because we broke his covenant. We broke his covenant. He gave Moses the law to give to us. We broke it. So in Hawaii, they broke it. You know what I'm saying? Ephraim was over there. They made them slaves. Read. And hunger. And in hunger. Where do you go to get food today? Grocery stores. In slavery, you went to your slave master, your enemy. He had to give you food, chitlins and all that stuff. Now they give you Baconators at Wendy's. It's the same thing. You know, back then you you felt like that was the only thing you could eat. Now it's the same thing. Everything that convenient is actually unhealthy. Right? Watch this. And in thirst. Thirst. Who 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 gives you water? Who owns the aquafina at the Deer Park, right? It's the same government that took Mexico from us, California from us, that took our land, right? Reese? And in nakedness. Clothing. Y'all are dressed like what? Like uh, like in America, Jesse Penny, Macy's. Yeah. Who gives us all that? The white man. The, 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 the race that conquered us, right, Reese? And in one of all things. Now, that want it means lack. When you look it up, it means lack. And in lack of anything, all things. Toilet paper. Donald Trump throwing toilet paper to Puerto Rico. You know, every everything you see on the planet, we get it from them, right? But let's get to the Bible. Education, right? Biblical education. They'll give us a white image of Jesus instead of this image, right? The Bible says he's a black man, woolly hair, uh, feet like he was burned in the grass, uh, in, in the oven. So. It says, and in want of all things. So if we want education, if we want to learn our race, if we want to put our race down on a passport, we got to put Hispanic, black, white. We have to we have to go to them for the understanding of who we are. White is the color in the crayon box. Black is the color in the crayon box. So for them to make you continuously check off Hispanic, you're saying, I'm, I'm property of Spain. I'm property of Spain. I'm property of Spain. So it's brainwashing you to think that you're nothing. That's why God says again, I'm going to quote it again, uh, Proverbs 29, 18, where, uh, where there's no vision to people perish. So when we act like Puerto Ricans, you go to Puerto Rico, everybody killing each other, holding each other out. And there's no love. There's no unity of the Bible in them. Even though they got churches everywhere, there's no love of Christ in them. All right? So watch this. Keep going. Now, 49 is going to tell you who conquered you. Watch this. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck oh. until he have destroyed you. So this man, he conquered you. He put a, a chain around your neck. He didn't let you go until you thought you were Mexican, Puerto Rican, Dominican. Because that's what is called the Emancipation Proclamation. That's when they said, you know what? These slaves, they're going to come back. So they let us go and we're still here. You know what I'm saying? Watch this. 49. 49. Uh -huh. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. So how far were the Spaniards? Were they close? What's it say? From the end of the earth? From the other side of the planet. They came to Mexico. They came to Cuba. They came to Puerto Rico. They came to Santo Domingo, right? Read. As swift as the eagle flies. They came to Hawaii. The eagle, the eagle, the eagle. What, what animals are back in Puerto Rico? When they landed on the moon, where did they go? The eagle has landed. You can look it up. They said the eagle has landed. America, Rome, and Greece, our history, they always claim to be the eagle. Watch this. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Did I speak Spanish? Do you think my people spoke Spanish? The Aztecs, do you think we spoke Spanish? No, they taught us Spanish. They raped our women and killed our men, and they taught me Spanish, right, Free. A nation of fierce countenance, uh -huh. which shall not regard the person of the old, uh -huh. nor show favor to the young. So if, if you were young, like I see these young women, they didn't care if you were young. They raped you, they took, they took you from your parents. That's biblical. This is the Bible. But this Bible is not a fairy tale, it's a history book. We don't read it as a history book. I'll give you an example. What's your race? Okay, black and Panamanian. What's your father? Black. All right, now black is a color in a crayon box. Me and you can grab a crayon box and open it up, right? Also, America calls you African American, right? Africa was named after a white guy named Amer I mean, Scipio Africanus. America was named after a white guy named America of a speech. So if you say you're African American, you're saying two white guys. Does that even make sense? 
right? So, so that's what I'm saying. So, like, when we go into history, that's why they don't let the Bible go into schools because this teaches you that Alexander the Great destroyed our people. Right. And they say Alexander the Great was a great guy. Yeah. This book says lie. Columbus, which is a damn lie. I like that. <laughs> this book tells you that Columbus was raping and killing all women. Their history books say that Columbus was discovered America. How he discovered America when the Bible says the Israelites were already on the side of the world. Right. So we got, and guess what? We were over, we were dark skinned. Uh, like a lot of blacks, they'd be like, oh, you Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, y'all ain't the same people. Some of them. You want to know why? Because this book, this, yeah, this book, this book says we got dropped off in different places and we started mixing with the other races. We lost our melanin, we lost our woolly hair. Some of y'all still kind of have it in your hair. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we're the same race. You know what I'm saying? We're the same nation of people. Nation is men leading by example.